Hi everyone and welcome to Long Distance Tarot Channel. I'm Lexa Tarot and thank you so much for joining me. For those of you who have subscribed, again, thank you for making our small family just a little larger. We are the long distance family. We're all here because we have either a connection or a relationship that we're having that is in long distance. For those of you who are visiting for the first time, thank you so much for stopping by. And again, like I said, this channel is exclusively for timeless tarot readings. Uh, for long distance relationships or connections and separation. So if you're looking for insights to your unique long distance connection, you have come to the right place. And so this week we're looking at Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So we're looking at the fire signs. And fire signs, we're going to take a look at your significant other or your partner or the person you're talking to, or the person you're interested, um, that specific special person who is in, um, who's far away from you. So we're going to take a look at their uh, past, their present, and their near future in regards to their love life. Okay, which obviously affects you as well, right? Um, so we'll take a look at your significant other's past present and near future um, love life and when I say near future um, just so you know like time is relative and it's we don't the way we see time is not you know perhaps you know we see it in a very linear way I um, mean we're talking about quantum physics and dimensions and um, things of that nature and you know, it, it's pretty much relative. So um, sometimes I get a little leery about kind of doing like f future readings or future outcomes or predictions in that way. Um, so I like to just kind of just give you an insight very quickly. So when I say future, I mean near future. So let's kind of make it a little bit on the short term side. You know, it may take longer or it may you know, take less time, but I'm kind of projecting here. Let's try to see in about, uh, I guess, between now and three weeks from now. Okay, so um, that would be our kind of gauge point on your future. Again, it might extend longer than that. Um, like I said, you know, energy uh, of the future is relative. And of course, things can change. Uh, one decision, um, can impact uh, you know how things can be seen in the near future so we'll see how things are as they are now and um, pretty much just wanted to kind of tell you that ahead of time all right so um, so this side will be our past followed up by the present and again the near future and again this is to see uh, where or what's going on with your significant other's love life in regards to their past, present, and near future. All right, so let's take a look here. What is the past, present, and near future energy for the uh, fire signs significant other? Fire sign significant other. Okay, interesting. With engagement at the bottom of the card. I'll leave that as maybe an energy that's happening right now. Or kind of like the umbrella of what I see here. Okay, oop. Okay, so that one just flipped out on its own. So I'll put that as the past. So again, we're taking a look at Aries, Leo, Sagittarius fire signs what is your person of interest or your significant others uh, past present and future or near future in regards to their love life okay oh and at the bottom we have chaos a change, I'm sorry, not chaos, I would change in the wind. Okay. 
Okay. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What is their persons, their significant others, past, present, and near future energy in regards to their love life? If you want to fast forward till I kind of get all these cards out, you can do that. Or you can just join me and see what's coming out when it's coming out. So again, what is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius' person's past, present, future um, energy in regards to their love life? What is the fire signs, significant other or their partners, past, present, near future energy in regards to their love life? What is their significant others, past, present, future energy? And All right, so let's take a look here at what I see. All right, so just overall in general, um, what I call kind of like maybe in the present umbrella, I see engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Um, a change in the wind, which talks about things uh, changing uh, or things just moving along. So there's the winds of change. We have intuitive communication. There is some type of intuitive or um, gut level feeling or intuition when it comes um, in regards to their love life. Maybe perhaps with you, um, right? Um, we have partnership and alliance. So it's um, about teamwork and about moving things along. Um, in the near future and there's a sense of walking away from some type of emotion okay um, those are just energies that are kind of like what I call the hidden shadows the hidden energies under the cards that um, that are being placed here um, but let me just move this over here now I'm gonna really um, just focus on what I see here so in your significant other's past um, past in regards to the, their love life, it seems that they um, separated from someone in the past. Now whether the someone may be you that they that we're talking about perhaps a separation when you and them, you know, were together and then, you know, you went to your, where you live and they went to where they live. Or maybe for some of you, the separation is talking about your person's past relationship. So there was definitely a separation here that happened between um, two people, between them and someone else in their past that they are trying to mend or trying to either heal from or mend from um, that specific situation. That situation was very stressful for them. They went through a lot of emotional and, um, you know, emotional anxiety, if not depression, um, you know, if not insomnia or problems sleeping in regards to this connection that they had 
um, with someone or in their love life um, in the past. So something here, whether it's that they broke up and that's the separation we're talking about or there was definitely some type of not being together with someone. So whether they moved away from a past relationship or whether um, they were just separated with the person that they are currently with. Um, here the point is that I do see a lot of stress and anxiety and worry in regards to um, their love life in the past. And one way that we're trying to kind of get over uh, this situation um, emotionally and, you know, and, and what their, their thoughts were, um, again, their thoughts were very, uh, very much in the anxiety and the, and the stressful mode, um, is that they were trying to create a balance and a harmony within themselves so that they can kind of deal with the pain with um you know perhaps a sense of loss here okay um and what i'm getting here in their past in their love life in the past is that they were um they try to move ahead from this situation so whatever the situation was in their past um in their love life is that they were trying to um gather the energy um regain their passion and pretty much move themselves forward so they can feel that they've conquered this um kind of like obstacle in the past or this uh separation or this ending um that uh, in reality caused them a lot of stress um, and a lot of um, just mental anxiety, okay? And I see these um, swords here. And the swords are um, obviously seen in the forefront. And then there's just this darkness in the back. So I feel that it was um, perhaps a dark period or a dark moment in their, um, in their life. Um, in the past in regards to their love life and it created a lot of anxiety uh, um, I mean to the point that chances are they weren't sleeping at night that a lot of thoughts were coming into their head and um, it was just very difficult for them to set it aside um, again in that past energy I see that they uh, you know they were trying to heal and try to move themselves forward um, from this uh, Nine of Swords energy. Um, and they were trying to do that. They were trying to kind of heal or mend themselves or get themselves back together again um, internally by trying to create this balance within themselves. Okay? And, and trying to, in a way, transform, go through a a period of transformation and I see here a butterfly and we all know um, uh, butterflies are, are linked to cycles right um, and so I feel that this is a cycle or a season or a situation that they had to kind of retreat themselves emotionally to kind of deal with it so that they were able to mend and able to come uh, to a balance uh, a, a spiritual a balance, a uh, yeah, I would even say that there was even just this this as they were tapping inward, as they were transforming themselves. That maybe you know it caused some type of an enlightening moment, uh, enlightenment, a moment of enlightenment, and maybe that is what then uh, pushed them or propelled them or guided them into um, this energy of just, you know, healing, trying to get their thoughts together, uh, trying to go through a period of transformation, uh, spiritual healing, probably a sense of transformation, to then get to this point where um, they, were f they were feeling confident enough to 
persevere and push through this obstacle here in the past. But again, it feels like this obstacle really, um, this obstacle in their past, uh, in their past, in their love life, really did cause a lot of anxiety. Okay. So here is the present. So here I have, let me tap into this energy for a second, please. Hold on, give me one second. So here um, we have unrequited love or there's, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this uh, relationship going. Hold on one second. Um, and I feel, I don't feel that perhaps, I, I don't feel this message that's down here. What I'm getting the energy from this card is that perhaps because of this past experience here and this past energy of them um, going through such an emotional and mental um breakup or separation or you know just this column right here in the past created a situation for them to feel that maybe love wouldn't be in their car in the cards for them again okay so again here this is the future so they may still be feeling a sense of lost from this past connection. They might still be um, in the process of still recuperating emotionally from this past because we have here the yang energy. The yang energy is, um, you know, just receiving. Um, we also have the life cycles, which is interesting. I did talk about the life cycle, um, just the card before, which um, had the butterfly. But they, I feel that their family, their circle of friends, um, the love that they have within their maybe family or friends or people close to them, um, and that love that perhaps they're receiving or that support that they're receiving in the present um, is really helping them kind of overcome this internal feeling of, of loss that they may still have present um, within them. Also, I'm I'm also getting the feeling here that with the um, unrequited love, that this person may feel um, that that perhaps they're at a state internally that they don't feel that they could be loved or that they could feel or that they could get to the point where. Hold on a second. Yeah, that they feel that that they may feel unlovable is what I'm I'm picking up. You know, that they just they they might not show it, they might not talk about it, but they have this feeling of of loss, of regret, you know, when it comes to their uh, love life in the present and again I'm feeling that they're receiving or that they're getting this type of of um, support or you know receiving you know this passionate love and support from their family and friends to kind of help them move along uh, this this feeling here that I'm seeing or this energy. I feel here in the present that they're also kind of feeling that they, they want they want 
the spark of passion to to happen here. I'm going to kind of clarify this row a little bit. Let's see what comes out here as far as your person's present uh, state in regards to their love life. So, whoop, okay, that's all right. So here, all right, this is all righty. Here we go. Okay, let me just put this right side up as the other cards here. This just fell. Sorry, guys. Give me one second here. Okay, these fell over. I like to have all my cards um, in one direction, and if they if they reverse, then they reverse on their own. But oh, this one just jumped out. Um, so let's talk about this Yang energy. Um, let's clarify this Yang energy that we see here in the present in your significant others uh, present energy in their love life so let's clarify this yang energy that we see here what is the fire sign significant other what is it talking about here with yang so king of swords king of uh, knight of wands five of cups okay so, for the Yang energy, we the one that came that fell out of the deck on its own is um, the Knight of Cups. And so, the Knight of Cups is the energy of you know just message of love, messages of love, of this feeling of um, you know being the the knight in shining armor. Um, type of deal um, the guy who's writing or the or it could be a guy or a girl doesn't really matter but this energy of message of love so it's like they want to receive they want to receive um, this love energy this message of love okay and when we're talking about the yang energy here to clarify that card, I ended up getting the, um, the the King of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Five of Cups. And so that tells me this person is really um, in their own thoughts. They're, the, they're the, 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 the King of Swords. Don't worry so much about the fact that it says King um, because it's there's no gender here when it comes to um, the energy of, you know, the kings, the queens, and so forth. But here I'm getting a person who's analytical, who's logical, who's thinking, who's in their head a lot in regards to, to, to love. Um, they may be at a point or perhaps feeling, um, I'm getting casual relationship here. I'm looking at the Knight of, of Wands and I'm just picking up like this person is so deep in their thoughts. They're not really showing um, how they feel inside. Okay. Communication. They might not share too much about how they feel. Um... But they're very much into their thoughts. And I'm picking up casual. I keep hearing in my mind casual relationship. They might want to just keep things casual um, at the present. They might be, like I said before, um, with the energy of the regret and feel, the feeling of loss. Um, you know, that the Five of Cups is, again, it's another energy of just feeling disappointed it's feeling of loss so presently maybe they may be feeling that um that love may not like i said before may not be in the cards for them at this point you know that that might be the energy um that they are um getting okay they want to receive messages of love, but for some reason they're skeptical is what I'm what I'm picking up here. 
all right so let's take a look here at the financial and material changes in the five of cups so what can you tell us about oh, this one fell on its own and that's the uh, king of wands um so let's take a look here let's clarify this person's yep we have the world card oh and the two of cups so interesting this just fell out on its own so let's read it as it may okay so now this is towards down here towards the bottom okay so to clarify the five of pentacles which is uh financial material changes which is again um the energy that i'm picking up of um you know just lack of basic needs feeling that there's just a loss happening with the five of cups again the feeling of loss um we get the king of wands to clarify we get the world card and the two of cups so maybe they're coming to the point of where they're now saying to themselves, well, listen, if I receive um, or if I end up getting someone who's interested in me or um, I just get this energy or meet this person or, you know, again, meeting you because chances are, you know, they're in a relationship with you. If I if I get this from the universe, if, if the universe literally plants someone in my path that shows me um, through action, through passion, through action, that love is worth taking a risk, then I'll do it. Um, you know, that's pretty much what I'm getting here. And so with the King of, of Wands, and the world and the two of cups is telling me that this person is really um a go-getter okay they they're they really are passionate about seeing the world at a different place now even though underneath maybe underneath how they feel maybe they now they might not kind of express it to you um but they do feel that they can move forward in a relationship that has to do with either you or just love in general giving love a chance again okay and i'm getting that from here i'm getting this like they're open to the spiritual union um, and they would, they feel that it could happen. And this world card is from afar. So I do see that the king of cups, I'm sorry, the king of wands, um, I have, it's also a travel card, by the way. So, you know, there, there may be this long distance communication, this long distance relationship happening here. Okay, so you may be coming up here in this connection in the present with them. Okay, but do realize that they are deep down inside, there's this emotion of loss that they feel. But definitely, um, I do see here that this is. This is something that they'd be open to, obviously. And this is something, like I said, I have a feeling that because of this energy that I'm feeling here about their past, that they that this experience here may have placed them in a situation where they feel that they're not you know, worthy to have love or that they are um, just kind of still recuperating from this loss, from this past relationship that they had that was you know emotionally devastating for them and that the love of the family and friends is was really helping them kind of move along um and 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 start feeling kind of whole again and so here um i feel that i'm, I'm just getting the energy of of them being in this 
vibration of, well, you know what, if the universe is going to give me something or if the universe is going to place um, this person in my path, this person to, you know, for me to love or for me to fall in love with, then then so be it, right? Um, but underneath, there is a sense of, you know, kind of feeling the, the sting of a, of a love that or of a relationship that didn't work out um, in the past. Um, but I definitely see that they are um, pretty much open to this. And it's interesting because this is long distance, long distance love, long distance union, long distance partnership here. Let me clarify uh, this a little further here. What's going on with the King of Wands, the World, and uh, the Two of Cups? Let's clarify the King of Wands, uh, the World, and the Two of Cups in the present. We're clarifying this for the Fire Sign, Significant Other. What is their present energy in, the pres in their love life? Okay, all right, so here uh, this one fell on its own, which is the Queen of Swords. Okay, so the Queen of Swords is clarifying the King of Wands. Again, someone who is um, deep in their thought, not really showing too much emotion, not really discussing too much how they feel. Um, okay, yeah, Three of Swords, Heartbreak. And the Two of Cups. Oh, interesting. Wow, okay. All right, so this kind of clarified things a whole lot right here. Okay, give me one second. Let me move this over. All right, so here. Let's move back. Let's move this back. All right, so they 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 may still be feeling the sense of loss from what has happened in the past, in their past uh, love life. Okay, um, and they may still be recuperating from that. Okay, from that sense of loss. So the uh, the King of Wands is being clarified by the Queen of Swords, but. Believe it or not, that's not the energy that's calling out to me. The energy that's calling out to me is this King of Swords. So we have here in the present energy, in their love life, in the present energy, is that we have the King of Swords and we have the Queen of Swords. So we do have a what you know what's called the divine counterpart here. So we have uh, two people that are, or they feel that they are maybe on the same wavelength. Okay, so... Whether it be, you know, this is you and this is them. Um, but there is a feeling here of what I feel like a couple. There's a couple here in the present. Okay. Now, again, they may um, feel that they have the world at their feet. But, you know, at night behind closed doors, they may still feel the sting of this three of swords this uh, energy of, of pain, of, um, of a past uh, sadness, of a past hurt, okay, that happened, a separation that happened maybe in the past that may still, you know, sting the heart. That doesn't mean that they're thinking about them. It's just that the experience left an imprint on them, okay? But um, like I said before, the Two of Cups, they're very much uh, open to love in the present, okay, to the spiritual union that can develop into the Four of Wands, which the Four of Wands is the energy of marriage, is a marriage card, is a commitment card, is a card of uh bringing the oh interesting yeah they're telling me to come look at here yeah that was what came out a uh, higher level of commitment for sure yeah definitely so this this tells me right here that even though this person has gone through a rocky emotional past and may still be um kind of healing from 
uh, emotional loss uh, from their past, that they are very much open to a relationship in the present time, a spiritual connection, a spiritual union, a couple, a power couple type of feel, okay? So there are romantic feelings here in the present time. There is what, you know, what I would call a budding, budding love, right? It's, 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 you know, starting or it's, it's to the point that, that at least they would consider marriage in the near future. Okay. So you have the two of cups and the four of wands. So despite their feelings of, um, of something that may not have worked out in the past, even though this is something that may, uh, on occasion, um, you know, come up. All right. Like I said before, what I was feeling is they're open to receive this passion, um, if it comes their way and if it's real and if it's true. And so again, there's definitely this union that they are open to so much so that I feel that right now in the present, if they feel that it is an intuitive and a heartfelt connection that they may even start thinking about like, you know what, maybe there is a possibility, maybe there is a possibility that love does exist, that I can get over this emotional loss and hurt from the past. And, you know, they might even be thinking about making this connection into something more um, than, than just dating. They might really want to set their sights on um, creating this, like we saw before here as the hidden energy, um, they want their love life to ascend to a higher level of commitment here. So this is definitely the case here in the present. Okay. So let's take a look here of what's going here or what could happen in the near future. Um, so near future, we have the wedding card. We have breathe rising above, um, transformation, and king of wands. And so for the near future, the energy that I'm getting here is that this experience here in the present, the fact that they had this feeling at some point in their lives where, you know what, I don't believe love can exist. I don't feel that I'm lovable. I don't feel that things can move on, that the connection that they have here in the present with you gave them a sense of hope, okay? Gave them the sense of, you know what? Um, this passion within me has awakened, okay? This love or this meeting or this connection or this union um, that I'm having this romantic feelings, this new developing or even, you know, already developed relationship that's going on here in the present reignited a sense of passion inside of them. Okay. And that passion ex inside of them made them realize that, you know what, you know, love, you know, does exist and love can enter my life okay and there is a possibility of this love being uh serious enough or uh, uh the connection being strong enough to create this spiritual union that can lead to marriage which again we see here wedding as this situation involves marriage so there is the feeling here that this person wants more out of their love life, okay? We get it here in the engagement. Your life, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, okay? Which we see here in the present time that that could be the case. And we see it again here in the near future where they may start thinking, Okay, and even entertaining the idea of 
uh, this union here in the present kind of um, going forward into something very much serious, you know, with you or, um, you know, serious enough with you that they are even considering marriage or considering an engagement or considering or maybe even talking about seeing you in their future. Okay, which is great. Um, that's a great thing to hear, right? <laughs> so um, it's not only something that we're hearing, but it's something that we are validating here with these cards because this is what's coming out for you guys or for your uh, significant other. They are going to, I feel, in the near future, they're going to um, go within themselves and try to see um, if they can meditate or uh, develop a stronger sense of spiritual strength um, to find this clarity inside of them, you know, from um, this transformation that's taking place. Remember, um, there's a there's a past here that was uh, a bit troublesome, okay, and so this past uh, is showing here up in the in the present time as you know inner feelings that they're still trying to overcome with again the support of the family support of the friends um and and so forth and even you know the support of you in finding um this union of love with you or this sense of um spiritual union in this connection with you so they are going through this sense of transformation um, where it's, it's guiding them to see a future with you. Um, but there will be moments where they will tap in, um, and go inside themselves and self-reflect and kind of try to see if they see some type of clarity, um, in, in this, you know, future, so that they can be very much certain about uh, this commitment, this long-term commitment that they're thinking about in regards to um, to their love life. Okay. So we have here um, the King of Wands, and so the King of Wands is a go-getter attitude. It's it's this attitude of we can make this happen. It's passion. It's moving ideas forward. It's like, um, you know, the energy of like a businessman, entrepreneur, someone who wants to make things happen. And because it's falling here in the near future, I would say that this person is, um, is going to come to the point after this moment of transformation and of realizing here um, within your present connection that... Um, you know, that they want to move this relationship. Uh, again, they want to move this relationship forward, okay? That this is something that they um, are um, pretty much invested in, okay? And want to uh, move along in this connection. Let's try to get um, a little bit more clarity here. Um... So let's see, let's go with transformation. Let's get a little bit uh, more clarity here. Yep, this one just fell. And, and that's why I like to shuffle on the screen because like that you guys can see, it's not me picking this up. This is literally saying that they're transforming from the sense of burden. The sense of this burden that they were feeling inside and they're transforming, they're trying to you know, get themselves out. Again, I feel a lot has to do with this past. And the sense of transformation is talking about um, what in some cards, what in the Rider Waite card is actually um, the 10 of, of, of Wands, which is the Burden card, right? Um, and so here we're seeing that there is a sense of struggle. There is a sense of burden that they are transforming themselves from, that it's changing, 
right? And it does make sense. They need to, to, to get over this situation um, internally, this, this struggle that they may be feeling inside in order for them to move into this energy of uh, wanting a higher level of commitment, um, of getting this clarity that they that they want so again it, it, it totally aligns itself with this energy of that they're going to go inside they're going to reflect you know I, I, I to me this breathe card is very much so um, like the hermit card where um, the hermit talks about um, going inside and reflecting upon what's you know what they're thinking a different perspective trying to see inward so that there is a clarity and there's a sense of liberation from you know whatever it is that's holding this person back so again transformation they're trying to get away from that 10 of wands the good thing here is that this is the 10 Okay, which is the end of this cycle. So this transformation and this this end of this emotional cycle of this inner struggle, this inner burden that they're feeling inside, they want to let go. They want to let go of this. They want to transform themselves out of this. These are the two cards here in the uh, near future that are what I would say a. Uh, you know, a card that isn't as bright or isn't as happy as the other cards here. Because again, you get the wedding card, you get rising above, okay? So chances are, this is again, it's, you know, pretty much saying the same thing. They want to rise above this little patch here um, into something that... Uh, has longevity and has uh, a long-term uh, commitment involved okay so let's try to um let's get a sense here and let's clarify what do i want to clarify here in the near future mm, let's clarify rising above why is rising above here? I pretty we pretty much know why they want to rise above the situation from the past. But let's see here. Why is rise above here? Give some clarity to the fire signs. Why is their significant other or their person? Um, what is yep? What do they want to rise above? They want to rise above their internal conflict that they may be feeling. Okay, from anything that may have happened in the past or something in their life that's causing them an experience here. Again, something keeps just pulling me back to their past, okay? Um, so again, they want to rise above from this uh, internal conflict, from this tension. They want clarity. They want freedom. They want to be able to get away from this experience um, that, you know, that is causing them a burden and that is, uh, going to allow them to transform themselves and their emotions and really focus on, you know, wedding on, you know, rising, or like I said here, um, you know, ascending this relationship to a higher level of commitment. So, really really nice here okay let's um clarify the king of swords in the near future why is this king of swords i'm sorry king of swords <laughs> king of wands here why is this king of wands here let's clarify the king of wands Yeah, they want their wishes fulfilled. So you have the Nine of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? For the, because of the Nine of Cups, because the Eight of Pentacles, and because the Page of Swords. They want to get away from this Five of Pentacles, which is, the uh, again, the, the feeling of loss, 
again it's coming up again okay so they want to work their way away from that again anything that's at the bottom of the deck is a hidden energy okay so this is their hidden energy something that they might not want you or other people to know about so the question was why is this king of swords here so we can clarify that well it's here because of the nine of cups okay so at this point in the near future this person once they go through this sense of transformation okay and they let go of this um, emotional burden and this internal conflict um, they're going to feel that their wish has come true okay and that it is an opportunity for them to start a new beginning that is that has value okay you see here that the that the, the hands don't look clean they look a bit dirty right so to me this energy is telling me this darkness again has to do with this nine of swords that now they're coming into the future into feeling that their wishes are coming true that there's a sense of satisfaction after a long time of kind of going through this period that they were going through that they were toiling right that they were working to get themselves out of they're now coming into this um energy of a new beginning something of um value something that's that they can feel um the stability that they're feeling here um with this 10 uh, i'm sorry with this ace of pentacles okay so for me it says their wish is being fulfilled about this stability that they perhaps once upon a time were searching for that they were looking for this they were searching for this type of um here it is for this type of passion they were searching for this type of passion they were searching for this type of um spiritual union that can lead to something more that can lead to this um situation that could involve marriage okay that could uh, bring this connection to a higher level of commitment all right so it's pretty much showing that this person is really um, moving themselves forward in the near future that at least you know it's coming from remember we we started here with someone who you know was really going through their own sense of uh, situation here in their in their in their past okay to you know to the present where there is some sort of progression happening okay again this may be like i said it's it's an ongoing process but we definitely see um this union here and we do see both the king and the queen of swords um here in this present time so you know for sure it's something that i'm saying you know it, it looks good there is potential here to for this connection to move along and for this person to actually be open for this commitment and this uh situation so let me clarify breathe why is this card here breathe uh, again, we pretty much know it's it's talking about uh, reflection, going inside, um, self-reflection, self uh, or introspection. Um, but let's see what we can get here in the near future with this breathe card. What are some energies that are happening here with your significant other? Interesting, the judgment card, a spiritual, uh, a spiritual release. Um, ascending spiritually opening themselves are uh sorry opening themselves up to the possibility okay of a spiritual awakening so again here we have breathe 
they're tapping inside they're tapping to into their their true self they're reflecting they're in this intro, introspection mode they are undergoing self-reflection and they will get this moment where there's the spiritual awakening happening this renewal of the soul okay and i feel that to me this renewal of the soul my intuition is pulling me back to this this can happen this is a possibility now um in their life and in their heart um and i say more in their heart than life because we we're seeing this energy coming up from what looks like the middle of their chest and it's rising above okay so it's this feeling that you know they really do feel that um it's a new it's an awakening it's a resurrection of the spirit is in a, a spiritual awareness in a way and it's um pretty much opening their their soul up to the possibility of you know moving to uh, a situation where this connection or their love life in general can move towards um you know something you know of uh of worth of value okay a long-term commitment a lifelong commitment okay so pretty much that is what i'm feeling here um in this connection um as far as your significant others past present and near future energy in regards to their love life i hope this was um uh you know insightful for you and you know it gave you a clear picture where your uh, significant other uh is or is feeling or you can kind of gauge in a way um, their love life and their attitudes of love and, and so forth. So I hope this was helpful. Again, this was for uh, the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. I hope that this was uh, uh, as insightful for you as if it was for me. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with other people who are in a long distance connection. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And let's try to make our small family of long distance uh, couples and uh, connections and separation just a little larger. Thank you so much and stay tuned for uh, next week where we will open up and see what other insightful things we can tap into here on this channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.